Hey YouTube, welcome back to another uh, review uh, here on the Lincoln Williams Show. Before I go, before I go and start heading back to work at Albertsons, I just wanted to make a uh, final review before I start getting back, getting my schedule back because I got the vaccine and I'm a potential grocery store worker at Albertsons. So I just wanted to make this final review. And um, so, yeah, the, um, I basically complete. So how am I doing right now? I'm doing really, really good. I'm doing really, really good. I just got off my shift at, at uh, Albertsons today around 12. And um, now it's around 5. Uh, so I've been taking a little bit of a nap this afternoon. Um, so, um, so, yeah, before I start this review. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, so how have I been doing? I've been doing really, really good. Um, I just picked up, uh, I just replaced my Switch Joy-Con and first party pro controller for my Switch. I, uh, I did third party, uh, stuff for my Switch so my controllers won't break. So that's the update for the Switch. Uh, I will get three games for the Switch. I am thinking about getting Luigi's Mansion 3, uh, Pokemon Sword, and um, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. So don't judge my picks, but, you know, um, but anyways, but yeah, I really got to get those games for, you know, my customers to be able to play them. Uh, so yeah, when they come in the shop. So anyways, uh so, uh, yeah, uh, I've been doing really, really well. Um, I was completely, you know, healthy this pandemic. I did not have any issues. Um, so, yeah, I was, I've been really, I've been really, really healthy. Um, so, yeah, but minus some, you know, some issues along the way of this pandemic, like not seeing my friends or going to work or anything like that this past year, everything is starting to go falling back into place and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. So anyways, let's get started with, uh, let's get started with this review. So, uh, today's game that we're going to be reviewing today and the title of this video um, so in the title of this video, I decided to pick an N64 classic and all that stuff. And that, my friends, this, my friends, is one of my favorite movie series of all time and all that stuff. But I only like two, I only like two modern movies out of the whole, you know, bunch of this movie series. Uh, so, uh, today's, today's game that we're going to be reviewing based on a movie and all that stuff is, is, if I can grab it, GoldenEye007. Now, what you notice about my fake copy, this is a fake copy, basically, uh, but in a real cartridge. Uh, you can tell... Uh, by the fa by a fake copy because the the picture is kind of blur blurred out and all that stuff. Uh, the picture is kind of blurred out. Um, and the back is just a little you know ugh, it's a little gross. But you know, but the insides it's a real cartridge. So uh, don't get this wrong by a fake cartridge. There's a lot of data on here that's been played over the years and all that stuff in my store in my shop. So yeah, um, so yeah, it's uh, so this is GoldenEye 007. Uh, GoldenEye 007 was a staple for the Nintendo 64. Um, it's it was one of the best first-person shooters of that era and of that time period of the Nintendo 64's uh, life cycle, and it's one of the best exclusives to pick up on the Nintendo 64. Um, so yeah, uh, I can't wait for a remake. Well, we did get a remake. We did get a remake on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 and the Wii era of gaming. So, um, if you wanted to check that out on your Xbox 360, uh, go for it, but you can't do it on, you can't do it on your Xbox one. 
So, yeah, so that's the only uh, downside. But, yeah, GoldenEye 007, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's a pretty good game. So let's open up. Let's so let's get on with the review. Uh, GoldenEye 007 um, opens up. You're on this. Uh, you're in this X escort mission with this truck and all that stuff, and you're taking out guards, and you jump off a dam and all that stuff. Uh, you jump off a dam and um, and all that stuff with a parachute and all that stuff. That's the end of the level. One of my favorite levels, one of my favorite levels in GoldenEye 007 is uh, the, fact, the factory level. Um, the factory level in level two. Um, level two is basically like, you know, it's sort of like this maze area where you're just going around in circles until you figure out something and all that stuff. And, you know... I haven't completed the level yet, but I am playing through all the levels just to get a feel for this review. And, uh, but this, but this, you know, game, but this game ties in to the movie and all that stuff very well. It actually is one of the best movie titles that you can ever pick up in a video game form and all that stuff. So, yeah, so... Uh, you're working, I think you're working with your, um, with, uh, you know, the girl that you fall in love in with this game. One of the points is that you're working with your, um, with, uh, your, your lover in this game. Uh, you're trying to get out of a jail cell and you're just, you know, fiddling with your gadgets and things like that. I'm like, I don't know how to get out of here and all that stuff. So that's why I left that level and all that stuff. Um, I'm playing on a used profile on this. That's why I'm just, uh, you know, I'm playing on a used profile. So I just, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but you know, uh, I'm playing through the levels, killing some bad guys, picking up weapons, gadgets, things like that. Um, and solving puzzles and completing objectives. Um, so yeah. So the heart of GoldenEye 007 though is it's multiplayer. It's multiplayer where you're, you're, you, well, nowadays, don't get four friends, three friends together over to a house. Just don't do it. You just don't do it. Unless you had your vaccine, of course. Um, but, you know, yeah, get your, get, get people vaccinated because, get people vaccinated so they can play Goldeneye. Okay, <laughs> so uh, this is uh, this is still COVID days, uh, but I have my vaccine, so you know, pretty, so pretty, pretty much, um, you know, any of my any of my friends who had the vaccine can get together and play Goldeneye with me and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, so I talk about this game all the time. Did you know? that this game actually inspired to open up Replay. I was thinking of games in my head of what to get for the shop. And I was like, if I'm going to open up a business, I got to have Goldeneye. I got to have Goldeneye 007 because it's one of the, it's one of the best uh, first-person shooters for local four-player co-op and all that stuff. But nowadays, we have... Nowadays... We have one of the best first-person shooters of local multiplayer co-op, and that is Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and all that stuff. So, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 1 is, is, one, is one of the best first-person shooters. But as I was thinking of replay opening up, it's like, what, am I, what games am I going to get for my Nintendo 64? And that was... And GoldenEye... The first thing that popped into my head was Goldeneye. And the second game, Super Mario 64. And the third game is my second copy of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So what started all this? And I was like, you know what? I just got to get this game. There's no way. I mean, there's no way I'm going to pass this up. And I was like, I got to get this. So I fished out 20 bucks. You know, I got it on Amazon and, you know, I got like a little bit of a fake copy, but it's sort of a real, it's sort of a real one. So, 
even though the back is actually kind of dirty. So I might sell this one. I might get the, give this one away at some point when another copy shows up in my shop with all the data intact um, from the previous user all that stuff. So yeah, the game data. So yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, GoldenEye 007 is one of the best uh, you know, first person shooters for the Nintendo 64. It also inspired, it also inspired uh, another game. It also inspired another game. No, that's not it. It is, it is, no, not that one. It is, that was Perfect Dark. GoldenEye Perfect Dark inspired, um, you know, this was like the true sequel to uh, GoldenEye was Perfect Dark. Uh, this was one of my first rated M games I ever played and uh, with a buddy of mine and I finally picked up my copy while I was working at Replay Retro and all that stuff. So I decided to pick up Perfect Dark and all that stuff. So uh, with all the data intact on this one too. So I get all the weaponry and all that stuff. So... It's actually a really, really fun game. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah. So, GoldenEye did some things. And it spawned some new franchises. Like Call of Duty and all that stuff in today's world. Um, but, yeah. So, GoldenEye 007 is it's just one of the best. It's, it's one of the best 007 games I've ever played. And all that stuff. And, you know... My favorite weapon, my favorite weapon in the entire game is a little P is a little P shooter, PP7, PP7 silencer. That's my favorite weapon in the game. Yeah, I know I'm a little I'm a little weak thing when it comes to guns and all that stuff, but I like simplicity, okay? So, you know, anyways, um so anyways, uh yeah. <laughs> I mean, this game is, is it's just so good, YouTubers. You got to go play it. Um, but, you know, I think when I get back together with Chris, um, in a in, you know, you know, somewhat soon, it's going to be a little ways out before me and him get back together. And I'm going to get his copy of 00, GoldenEye 007. And we're just going to go back and forth between houses bringing our third-party controllers over and just playing the living crap out of this game in multiplayer. So, uh, yeah, so so in today's standards, you might think that the controls are a little wonky and all that stuff. Yeah, they do are a little bit wonky, but I can forgive the controls, but some people are not going to forgive the controls. So let's just, you know, um, let's just have that statement out there and all that stuff yeah the controls are a little bit you know eh, they can be forgiven but you know with uh you know the honey control scheme on the controller and all that stuff on your nintendo 64 controller it could be like you know forgiving and all that stuff so yeah it can be understandable so yeah if you do the honey scheme on the controllers like honey and all that stuff <laughs> so yeah so anyway um so yeah there's uh there's golden eye so what do i give uh golden eye 007 the so the final verdict for golden eye 007 um i mean this game can be a little bit outdated to some people but for the average Nintendo 64 user and knows how this game actually plays, I would give this game a 9.9.0. I mean, I would give this game a 9 out of 10. Um, but for a half a point on, uh, you know, the controls and the half a point on, um, you know, the the outdated graphics, the outdated gameplay and stuff like that may turn people away. But that GoldenEye goodness still lies within this cartridge. Like 20 years later, 22 later years later, 
I don't know. But anyways, 22 years later, still, or 23 years later, still, this game is pretty good. You know, it's still, it's still pretty good. So anyways, so that is it for the Lincoln Williams Show archives for GoldenEye 007 uh, for this review of GoldenEye 007. Um, my, what is my favorite GoldenEye, GoldenEye movie of all time? What is my favorite 007 movie of all time? And that has to be Skyfall 007. Um, Skyfall 007 is, you know, one of my favorites. It was one of my very first James Bond movies ever watched. And I will have to review that movie pretty soon, uh, when I get a day off. And that way I can, um, you know... You know, uh, that way I can review that movie for you guys. So, uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, uh, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, my fav my farewell, my farewell 007 theme, um, to end this review. So, I'll be back someday, some I'll be, I'll be back, so, I'll be back some way, shape, or form in the next couple of uh, days, weeks, or whatever, uh, months. Um, so in my next review. And until then, I will see you guys all in the next Lincoln Williams Show episode. And please give a well, warm welcome to the... Uh, uh, please give a farewell to the Lincoln Williams Show um, band. Um, so um, by my talented voice and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, so, all right, take care everyone, and please stay tuned for the grand finale and the farewell of the Lincoln Williams Show for just a little bit. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next review. All right, thank you, YouTubers. ba da 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 ba da